All right. Skyrim! I'm joining Jamie today for his playthrough of Skyrim. Uh, I'm not going to be here every day, but this is going to be mostly Jamie's run, but I'm here for the first day. How's it going? <laughs> so this Allison's is, sick. Allison's <laughs> sick. So this isn't normal Skyrim, is it, Jamie? No, this is the remastered Skyrim for the PlayStation 4. With mods. Mods! A lot of mods. I So many mods. They're all going to be in the description. I cannot list to you all the mods. It's going to take up the entire video just doing that. So <laughs> let's get it right into it, shall we? Yep. New game. New game. Sure, new game. Mods can load. No. Trophies are this a Good. Who sure. Ca who cares about those? Yeah. Allison kind of does, doesn't she? She kind of cares about trophies. And the scrolls have foretold. Of black wings in the cold, that when brothers wage war come unfurled, all doing the bane of kings, ancient shadow unbound. With a hunger to swallow the world! Song of the Dragonborn. <laughs> so, your first experience in Skyrim, Jamie. Tell me about it. While we're, while we're getting Listen, ready here. That was, a, that was a couple of years. That was, I can't remember how many years ago. So it was this, like a year after the game came out. This game... This blew my mind when it came out. <laughs> I right. think it blew everyone's mind. So, I had played Oblivion previously. Jamie hadn't. He started with Skyrim. This was his start to the Bethesda series, and man, what a start. Holy crap. So... Then it went backwards. <laughs> then it went backwards. Skyrim to me, Skyrim to me isn't as fun as Oblivion, but it's a better game. Oblivion's fun in a different way. Oblivion's fun in that it's goofy. This is, this is, I feel, Bethesda's best best rpg that they attempted to make this is the best one they they, they got right i think <laughs> well action game action game in terms of rpg i think morrowind got it better but morrowind's not Shit. a good game <laughs> morrowind's not a good game it's <laughs> it's a really important game and it's a really deep and well made game but it's it has some problems this yeah. this i feel is the most polished the most complete of Bethesda's projects. Better than Fallout 4, in my opinion. Eh, I, it's a bit of a debate for me. Fallout 4 is pretty fun. And there is a lot of elements I like it better than Skyrim. This game, to me, is miles beyond what Fallout 4 did. But it's everyone's opinion. And either way, we're going to get into it here. So, oh, frick! as in previous Bethesda entries, are a prisoner. And the standard norm. The standard normal. And we're going to be uh, headed off to the barracks. We're going to be killed. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a watchtower, we're going to get our head chopped off. Yeah. Unlike Oblivion, where you were set free by the Emperor. Yeah, kind of a different start here. Like, welcome to the game. Time to die. <laughs> yep. That's how it works. So, the one thing about Skyrim is... This opening, this, this opening's kind of lame, isn't it? Yeah, just a little bit. You're just, yeah. oh, Man, look at the sky! That's the real lighting for you right there. Yeah. So we got some really pretty graphics mod for you here. Um, this one, this one especially, I really like this one. It's, most of these mods, by the way. Are lore friendly. Are lore friendly. Save for like one or two. One or two. Uh, so, we have like... Well, you'll see. The, the ones that aren't lore-friendly are going to yeah. be surprises. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> most of them are lore-friendly, in my opinion. And I've played all of the Elder Scrolls games, for reference. i yeah. played every single one. I know my lore. I know my Bethesda <laughs> lore. I know what's lore-friendly. <laughs> you know the lore. I know most of the lore, but not a lot of it. So I can tell you... At, at, from my hey, it it's is the Thalmor. And it looks like the Thalmor are with him. <laughs> so yeah, when this game came out, uh, I remember it was a couple of years ago. You were really into it, Jamie. You played. You played what over three hundred hours of this now? You um, hold on. I have it on my phone. How just how many hours I played? Really? Yeah. <laughs> Pull that up to give you an idea. And I, I know for myself, I've played two hundred hours of this game. Minimum two hundred hours. I have done at least three or four full playthroughs of this game. Yeah, <laughs> I've done way more than that. Oh, you played a lot more Skyrim than I have. I'm yeah. playing just just speaking for me. I've played Skyrim two hundred hours, and I don't even think it's the funnest one to play. But I've played it two hundred hours. <laughs> so that that tells you something about the, the legacy of this game. Yeah. 
Okay, I can't find the exact number, but I know it's over 300 hours. For sure, over 300 hours. You and that's just from my various playthroughs. I've deleted so many, started so many. I I've lost track of just how many I've done. Absolutely. And we're going for everything this time, since we're doing it for YouTube. Let's go. Yeah. I think this is going to be a complete playthrough here. It's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, I was... Because when I first got this, I named... I did the Argonian... I did an Argonian playthrough as my very first one. Mm -hmm. Completely to screw around, and I was really big into Ninjago. Right, at the time. So I named it after one of the Serpentine the Lizard guys. I thought that was freaking hilarious. Right. <laughs> and so I've kept the trend of, na of basing all my characters On after Ninjago someone... Characters? No. Off of popular characters. Oh, okay. okay. Like, Link... Ah, all right. That's kind of cool. That's a cool naming scheme. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I be, I make the character after someone from the pop from other games and stuff like that. I don't know. It's just it's mostly fun for me. That's interesting. So I can laugh at the name every time. See, <laughs> I do the same thing for Fire Emblem. I just name my character after someone. Yeah. After someone from I pop culture. I have a big thing where I like to make my own names. So that's tend to be how I do it. Is I make a whole bu I make a, like a bunch of fantasy like made up names, not like, not real ones. No, I like to say go screw you. So one of the ones that aren't lore friendly. We have. Sun Elves installed here. Oh, yeah. Why are the Nords red-eyed? It's because of the eye mod I think we put on. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Maybe. Hold on. Let me... Yeah, it's our... It totally is. Shit. Yeah, like I said, we added a couple ones that weren't more friendly. Like... So, so we added Sun Elves. So we decided we wanted something a little different. So we're going for... This is a, a custom race from the land of Midwood Isle, if we read the lore here, or Sunmer, are naturally charismatic and agile. They value speed and skill in battle. They also possess a slight magic ability, making them good healers or spell swords. They yeah, they're, they were all right. I have done a playthrough with them. Really? Yeah. So what were we basing our character around? Do you have a plan yet? Yes. I wanted to do it because we've been talking about so much about assassins. I wanted right. to do an assassin, and uh -huh. I want to do one of my favorite assassins, Shay Patrick Cormac, the fallen assassin. I don't know who that is. Um, he's he he is rogue. He is definitely this guy. Ah, Assassin's Creed rogue. Yeah, this guy does look pretty cool. I'm looking at the case now. Yeah, he he hunt he fall he is fall he's a fallen assassin. Oh right, he was former takes, Templar, wasn't he? No, he was an assassin. Then he became a Templar. Yeah, that's what it is. That's awesome. This is a cool name. That's yes. a cool name. Shay Patrick. Now it's not going to be quite quite exactly what the Assassin's Creed one is because we're doing a Sun Elf, but <laughs> uh, oh, I thought we were doing a different race. Oh yeah, we don't have to do a Sun Elf. Yeah. We have Sun Elves set as enemies and as followers and stuff. Yeah. But we can be whoever we want. Uh, I don't like Bretons. You don't like Bretons, all right? But what? Showing your bias. <laughs> yes, I, I don't like Bretons in general. So, so the reason why the, all their eyes are red, uh, we have something called the hetero heterochromia mod, which lets us have multiple eye colors, and I think that's what's doing it. Yeah. Should we go for an Imperial? I'm down for Imperial. Yeah. I, I'm, we are going to join the Legion, all yeah. you Stormcloak followers. I, I I have respect for Ulfric, and he is a fun guy with Galmar. I mean, you know, that, but that's kind of... the Legion kind of is the, the well, better way to go. Save for the Thalmor. Lore-wise, lore they make more sense to go. And for the character you're making, it makes more sense to go Imperial because you are part of, like, the Templars, which are basically <laughs> the Imperials. Yeah. No, 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 no. Templars are more the Thalmor. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. But uh, I'm, I'm not doing the high elf. I, I save my high elf specifically for magic. Yeah. Or should we make him super buff or kind of... We want to be an assassin, Jamie. So, we, like, this... He needs to be kind hmm? of lanky. Maybe a little thinner than that. Maybe... Like this? One more? How about like that? Yeah, I think that's good. I think that's a good assassin. And he does have a scar. I right. need to find one. Find one that matches? Yeah, because I don't know what this guy looks like, so I'm going off entirely what this, what, the, what you're building here. <laughs> and he doesn't need to look exactly like it. The idea is we want a cool-looking character. I think, I think that might be it. Yeah, because he has a scar on his right eye, like mm -hmm. right here. I th is he blind in one eye? No. Okay. It's just just it, a scar. Yeah, just a scar. I think that's the scar. Right. Off the top. We're of looking my... up pictures, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta no. get it right. Yeah, I want to make this right. <laughs> Gotta make them look cool. Damn! Look at all the eye colors. Oh my god! We did install that mod. Yeah. Oh man, they got crazy ones too. This is gonna be forever. <laughs> this is a cool mod. <laughs> it's gonna take forever though. I don't know why they started us on the red one. 
Oh my god. Time to hold the right button. <laughs> we may have made a mistake. Yes. We may have made a mistake. There we go. Clean shaven face. I want to change his chin though. Okay. <laughs> Give him a mohawk. <laughs> uh, I think this one is be the one to get. All right, so we didn't go too far with the character creation here. Just something quick. Something quick. Besides, I'm not good at it, so. Uh, should I put it his full name? I don't think it'll fit. I don't think the full name will fit. Ha ha! I think that's how you say it. Now hit done and make sure that works. Oh, and make sure it's spelled right, too. That's important. Yeah, that's oh, what I'm double-checking. Yeah. <laughs> I'm double-checking if it is called. That is how you say it. How embarrassing would it be if we just hit done and we're stuck with the misspelled version the whole game? <laughs> C-O-R-M-A-C. Yep, we got it. Nice. Yep, fits. Nice. Suck it, Shay Patrick Cormac. Should just win with Shay Cormac real well. Captain, the Adventures of Shay Cormac. He's not on the list. Ah, uh, yeah. The list. He, he had his own ship too. So, how man. soon do you think after you leave Hilgen that we're gonna find bears? Sort of um. Okay, people. Way, the thing. So there's is, a running joke with us. Uh, we'll and it is true. John has seen it. For some strange reason, bears hate me. Jamie has a, a bear problem in this game, like a serious bear problem. <laughs> so, <laughs> just, I, one time, I was walking down the main road, the main road. I was like five, six feet away from a town, and four freaking oh bears God. attacked me <laughs> at once. I'm like, what are you fucking hiding? Ambushing me? I swear, it's too stupid to make up. It's it you you'll say it. <laughs> at one point I will be attacked by multiple bears. It's just, it's, it's just gonna it, happen. It, it, it's 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 gonna happen more than once is the thing. Yeah. And I don't care what the loading screen says. The bears will come after you if you don't go near them. They will come after you. It's a lie. It's a lie. So I can actually um mouth most of the most of the speech here i can i i remember yeah, most of it me too <laughs> this is how sad we are that's how sad i mean it's bound to happen when you play this game enough. yeah <laughs> i the one thing though that execution of gear i'm so mad that you, you can't, can't get, get it. it the first thing i did my first playthrough was look for the body of the executioner to find that armor and it's not there you can't get it can't get it what the hell? This is an execution, man. Get what? the hell out of here. Is this because we have... The it's one of my mods, probably. It's probably the Immersive Citizens mod. They're immersive. Trust me. They just walk past on executions. It's lore friendly, I swear. <laughs> it is. Oh, hey, look. Look at that. That looks like a wood elf. Looks See? like it. Oh, yeah. We got diverse Imperial soldiers on this as well. That yeah, because it's really boring just seeing the same Imperial soldiers. It doesn't soldier. make any sense that they're all Imperials, does it? Because even in Oblivion, like, they weren't all just Imperials. There was a whole bunch of different races. Yeah, there are probably like a Nord or two in there. Yeah. Oh, shit. It's Alduin! Alduin. Da 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 da! Da 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 da! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Run! Run, you dumbasses! Okay, my question is, how the hell is your bind still on? Because no one took him off. But still! There he is. There's the corpse of the executioner and the armor you can't get from him. Look, there! His is broken! His is broken! How the hell is mine not look, broken? Look, it's, it's, it's gameplay. It's required for the game Ooh. that you can't... Legends don't burn. Okay. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, Ulrich's a fun guy. He really is. Him and Gamma are pretty yeah, interesting Yeah, they, they have pretty good banter. But it's, we're and, gonna decide with the Legion. And you're kind of you're kind of led to hate Tolius a little bit. Yeah. The only person you end up really liking in the Imperial Legion, in my opinion, is, is Legate. Is the Legate, yes, is Rakai. Legate Rick. 
or Rikke. Or Rikai, whatever. I think. Yeah, I... or whatever you pronounce her Yeah, name. no, I know. She's, she's the only... Him, she and Hadvar. Yeah. She's kind of the only one that... Yeah, and her and Hadvar. Totally says his ass. He doesn't care about Skyrim, really. Which is the same. Which is the same. And there's no real, like, great choice in Skyrim. Like, none is oh. perfectly right or perfectly wrong. Keep oh, that was if you want to stay that way. <laughs> uh, sorry about that, people. You got a call from Allison. <laughs> yeah. How was her voice sounded, Jamie? Did he sound all right? It sounded hoarse. Oh, really? Oh. Uh, yeah, well, Allison's sick, people. That's why she's out here bantering, making fun of Skyrim. That's the same. Yeah, she probably won't be here for the next couple of days because we're splitting up these recordings. A yeah. Little bit. So for you guys, it will be not for a couple days until you get her back. I want that girl! You gotta unbind yourself first. Unbind me, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I know you're helping me escape. Let me free. Look how buff it is. Everyone's buff in this Because they're in a... They're in a harsh environment, yeah. Okay, so the build I want is stealth. So we need light armor. Dual wield. Daggers? Dual wield daggers? Uh, a sword and dagger. Sword and dagger. Ooh, that's fancy. Because that's where he actually wields in the game. A sword and dagger. Yeah. That's a cool setup. All right, cool. And here's our Imperial light gear. So we have a mod installed to where um, guards will have heavy armor in addition to light armor. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, the Legionnaires. At the Legionnaires as well. Yep. I don't want the helmet. I don't need no helmet. You don't need no helmet. Plus the helmet looks kind of ugly. Yeah, we need a hood. We need a hood. We get the Mage's hood later. Oh, uh, yeah. I think I'll just stay in this person. Uh wonder if we'll actually see the katanas at one point. We have a mod oh, that yeah, we, has katanas. <laughs> we couldn't resist. I don't... <laughs> that's... It's it, it's not really lore-friendly because they're from Akavir. <laughs> but uh, we have a bunch of katanas. <laughs> we we can cra we have craftable katanas. Bow. Bethesda, get your shit together. <laughs> Just <laughs> sitting in the chair! <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> I'll take her gauntlet. And your shield. I just want to sell the shield. That door open. Oh my god, they're already dead, Jimmy. <laughs> they're already dead. What do you got? Gun Yar, he has Take the care. key. Oh, I guess he already took it. Yeah. Oh. yeah. You get the key from back there. Yeah, that's right. Poor Gun Yar. <laughs> He's dead no matter who you choose. <laughs> No matter if you choose Hodvar or um, Rayloff, or Rayloff, you always gun you. Is the true victim here. <laughs> yeah, he's the victim. <laughs> I think I just found our episode title name. <laughs> oh, we're doing all, this is on medium difficulty, right? We're not playing master. Yeah, I think so. Good. Kill cam. Because while I think you can handle master, it's probably not that entertaining. No. Not at all. I can. I still get killed a bunch, even on medium. This game. This yeah. This game. Yeah. It it does. It kills you quite a bit. No cheese. Damn it. No cheese. Are we cheese collecting, Jamie? A little bit. Uh, you know if we are, we're definitely gonna have to put them all in your house, right? Like yeah. stack to the roof full of cheese. <laughs> we have to. That's how we do it. It's like a required part of the game. Just stacking our <laughs> Just stacking cheese. I used to in Fallout 4, or no, Fallout 3 is what it was. I would collect um, death claw hands. Just the hands of death claws and put them on my bed and sleep with them. <laughs> Aha! A dagger. A dagger. Oh, and just rule the right book there. No of book. The dragon. No book. That's oh. the rule. No reading. Book. If you want to do reading, you could. But this explains everything. It shows Bethesda actually had a plan this whole time. What? Yeah. I know. I've read it before. <laughs> Should I drop the book? Yeah, it's taking a week. Damn. Now you can keep it, Jamie. You can keep it. But no, yeah. If you want to do book reading, you gotta have like a day of book reading. Like a, a whole episode of book reading. <laughs> Just pile them all up, hoard them all, and then read them all. Well, I was already going to hoard a lot of shit. That's how you do Skyrim. Yeah, this game, it really is like compulsive hoarder paradise, isn't it? <laughs> now, give me the lockpicks. Come with us. We need to get out of here. Yeah, no, the executioner won't leave, so yeah, screw him. Yeah, because we're with the Imperials. Didn't you, didn't you already get the lockpicks or no? I mean, I have some, but I want more. 
I'll talk to him. Maybe he'll give you some. No, he'll automatically walk over here. Oh, okay. See? Don't bother with that. Lost the key ages ago. We gotta be good at lock picking too. Yeah, we have to be worse at so we're gonna have to practice with it. And pickpocketing. Oh, I never upgrade pickpocket. I once was able to do a playthrough where I got a hundred pickpocket. Nice. I've never upgraded pickpocketing, so that'll be cool to have. It's play. actually really useful. Oh yeah. I did in Oblivion. I remember being. I remember raising my lockpicking in Oblivion by stealing all the Imperial Guard's silver swords. That was fun. <laughs> Sparks. I don't. Magic's not gonna be super. No, we have all right. Do you want to do like alteration or illusion spells? Whatever the one that it gives you invisibility. Ooh, I think that's illusion. Yeah, illusion could be good for this character. Oh yeah, most definitely. Yeah, we're still recording. Yeah, just double check. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But the alteration can be useful. So Maybe. how fast can you go through this area, Jamie? I can go really fast. I can go to the point where I don't even need Hadvar. <laughs> Poor Hadvar. Are we, supposed to go? Are we following Hadvar to Riverwood, by the way? Yeah. Yep. I like doing that. I, don't, I know some people just run off as soon as they get out of Helgen. I, I, I don't. I, it's, I've always preferred, like... So you get free stuff for following You him. do, but... I also prefer- it's so lore friendly. It's so lore friendly, Jamie. There's so much lore. Everybody likes lore. Not everybody likes lore. Some people just play this game and get around. It's me like half the time. <laughs> I don't blame them to be honest. This game is really good for digging around. Stormcloak! Stormcloak. You probably need to be good at archery. Yep. For like a secondary weapon. We'll have to have, uh, I guess, a bow and a regular sword kind of hotkey. Just for shouts. Um, do you want to do elemental fury? Oh yeah, most definitely. That's... So we're going to need to use regular weapons. We're not going to be able to use enchants. Right, I don't think. <sighs> Sorry. It's the only way for us to do it: at elemental fury. Unless, well, yeah, it's up to you. It's your build. I mean, we can use it every now and then. Not always. You're right. We can switch to them whenever we need to. Yeah, we're not stuck to one play. We're not stuck to one weapon choice or one armor choice. This is Skyrim. You're allowed to do anything in this game. Yep. When should we join the Dark Brotherhood? That's the question. When do we actually become That's an assassin? That's the question of the hour, isn't it? Um, or should we join the Thieves Guild first? Mm. Thieves Guild gets you leveled up really quickly. We can flip a coin. Do I have a coin? Uh, I have a bottle cap. <laughs> that's that's a coin in Fallout. <laughs> okay, we'll flip that. All right, hold on. <laughs> One moment. Jamie's grabbing a coin. <laughs> this is going to be good. This is important. This is an important decision. All right, put your headset back on. <laughs> We're actually flipping a bottle cap. Alright, Fallout okay. style. The head is the side that says Coke, and the back is the side that doesn't Wait a minute, wait a minute. What's heads and what's tails? Heads is the Coke side. Tails No, is... no, I mean assassins. Oh, thief. right. Um, thief is heads. Okay. Assassins is tails. Because you backstab people to kill them. It's right. Assassins. <laughs> heads. We join the Thieves Guild. Thieves Guild first. I'm alright with that. Yep. That's the reason there's a lot of cool stuff you can collect. Yeah. And, and I remember, Are if you, you join the Dark Brotherhood after you become Guildmaster, Delvin will have a special conversation with I've you. I've never heard that. Yeah, I've it's just, that, that. It's, he just makes a little remark at you. I never realized that was a thing. That's cool. Yeah, I figured that out at one point. I'm like, huh. We're for sure doing that then. Yeah. It's just like a little fun remark. Yeah. It's not an actual full-blown conversation, but so it's kind of funny. He, he actually... Acknowledges <laughs> you're the Thief Guild Master and part of the Brotherhood. They like never do that in the, the game, so that's great. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait till we get to Soulstime. Soulstime is Soulstime. by far and away my favorite part of It's of probably the, the best DLC they come out with. So it was on par with Shivering Isles. Morrowind is my favorite Bethesda game. Like I mentioned previously at the beginning of this episode, it is not the best Bethesda game. It is not the best game they've ever made, but it is my favorite. It, it is, in my opinion, has the best lore, the best story. So having Soulstone in Skyrim is mwah, fantastic, perfect, perfection. 
Sorry for all you people who hate spiders. Oh yeah, oh my god. Like me. <laughs> I hate spiders. Alright. Let's improve our health first. Uh, yeah. I like to do a thing, health, stamina, magic, health, stamina, magic. Are we gonna need magic? Well, just in oh, case. Oh, for illusion, we're definitely going to. Yeah, I like to keep it just in case. You'd like to do the balance playthrough. I never yeah. did that. I've always gone all or nothing, like into health or stamina. Okay. <laughs> Let's start with one-handed first. I'm not a very balanced player. I'm not very balanced in the head. <laughs> None of us are. Whoever said we are. <laughs> Shit, I'm lost. There Game it is. Game jar. <laughs> Unbalanced in the head. <laughs> Pretty much. Alright. Oh yeah, third person mode. We're gonna do a first sneak kill and kill our first bear. One of many, I'm sure. John has a theory that this bear cursed me. So this bear, this is the start of it all. Because Jamie didn't didn't sneak past this bear, the bears have cursed him for every game previously. Oh, no. It's the curse it's of the tutorial there. bear. And I will continue to do so. No! Oh, and thus, thus begins. Thus begins Jamie's journey. <laughs> Uh, now I'll take the black briar meat and iron helmet and lantern. Right in the I did not want that lantern, damn right it. Right in the foot. It's a shame you can't use lanterns as lights in this game. No, come back here, car. There's money no! in you. Well. Haha. <laughs> -ha! <laughs> there you go. It's all wet and <laughs> dirty now, but that's fine. Actually, the water looks pretty clean in Skyrim. It's probably because of our mod. It's mountain springs. No, no, it was like that in the original game, too. Just the water's very clean looking. Like you could drink right out of it. <laughs> don't don't drink right out of river water. <laughs> don't That's not a, a cave river water too. It's not a good idea. <laughs> no, not at all. Sneak. No matter how clear it looks. Don't drink. No drink. No drinky. And finally we're out of the torsal area. So Wait, where's Hadvar? He's there. He's he's there. Just so, double check. Whenever you first play these games, Bethesda and Oblivion, doesn't the tutorial area feel, feel so much longer the first time? Yes, it always is. It always feels so long, and then on subsequent playthroughs, you go through it, and it's like, wow. It, re it really it was nothing. Oh, man, there's that surreal lighting in play again. I'll do it. I still think this game looks good. It's like last gen. This one. <laughs> You say as you smash your head into the like rock, this game still looks good. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> Look, leave me alone. Right, we can quick save. Yeah, quick good. Save. We never have to do a proper save again. <laughs> Closest town from Harry's River. All right, here's a fun little fact. Yeah. Normally, when Havar runs down, he'll run to the mine, and unfortunately, there's a little bug that makes him stay there for like a really long time. Really? Yes, I've done it a few times, oh but if funny. you go ahead of him and go straight to the Guardian Stones, he will follow you down there. I've never so you can skip past that whole mine. I've never had that happen to me. It happened to me like every time I did it. Weird. And hey, here's a, one of our Watchtower mods. Oh, wow. Oh, man. New content. I'm bamboozled. Mods. Uh, so we have mods. Uh, this is all. This hey, look, a guard. Oh, my Thanks God. It's help. like a whole new game, Jamie. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't. Damn it. Because I only played this when it came out for the uh, for the Xbox 360, I believe. Uh, I I never got the chance to experience mods because I never owned the PC version. I see. But now that special edition's out, and I'm so glad they did this. I'm yeah. so glad that special edition came comes with mods. That's such a boon for the PlayStation 4 community. Now that they get to enjoy the the user created mods like everyone else. <laughs> yeah. See, normally he'll go straight across, but if you come down here, he will follow. Because other times he just goes straight. So, Jamie, the mage stone, right? <laughs> Thief stone, yes. Screw you. Screw you, mage stone. Good to the warrior, but... Sorry, Hadfire, we're kind of a thief. We're a thief. Go ahead, see for yourself. Thief, eh? It's never too late to take charge of your own fate. He does make a, he does make a comment for each one, like for the Warrior Stone. He's like, "Oh yeah, I knew you didn't belong to that cart." Rayloft does as well. Yeah. Uh, hey, look, there's our world lamppost mod too. Yep, more mod. This is look how lore friendly this is, guys. Look how lore friendly. How do they change? Lanterns. 
they they I, I, I look how they light it isn't important. <laughs> it's part of the lore. Oh, there's our banner mod up ahead. Oh yeah, content. Are you excited for this new and improved content? Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I do have a save specifically without mods. Yeah, in, ca in case Jamie wants to play base game. Are you just, is it is this all going to be through one one playthrough, or are you going to do uh, multiple playthroughs? I do the one playthrough for now. Yeah. If people like it enough, then I do multiple playthroughs. Cool. It's the same thing with Fallout. Yeah. But it's more interesting with Skyrim. Oh, yeah. All right. I don't know, Fallout's fun, but it's all about the main quest. Okay. Like the thing about the borders thing, it tells you which hold you're about to enter. Oh, look at that. I see. So it tells you you're going into the White Run hole. So we were in Falkreath and we're going to White Run. Yeah. That's such a nice little Almost addition to the game. Oh, you're right about that water. Load. I know. Oh my god. So we have a water mod installed. A really good one from the looks of it. We have a couple water mods, actually. I think we have a wave mod as well. Yeah. I've seen that one. It's actually nice. <laughs> Rabbit! Rabbit! So okay, Jake, okay, fun fact, John. I don't know if you know this or not. Right. But in your general stats, uh -huh. it tells you... Nothing. Bunny slaughtered. What? What? <laughs> what? Oh, my God. <laughs> it's like a whole new game. You've just... I discovered that a few years ago. I thought it was hilarious. You just blew my mind, Jamie. There's a bunny's <laughs> slaughtered section. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this changes everything. <laughs> Game Jar is a Skyrim only channel now, guys. We did it. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, but uh, I discovered that a few years ago. I thought that was hilarious. So every time I see a bunny, I try and kill it. <laughs> just, to, just up your score. You gotta be the best. Man, no the surreal one lighting ever looks was. really good. It changes the whole feel of the game. Yeah, here's our outpost thing. Yep. They put it right on on the general store, so it's just like... Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's mm. fine. It, Riverwood's a small city. Yes. And there's guards! There's guards. Yes, they actually put guards here. Who the hell are you? It actually makes sense now. Who would have thought? Yeah. Who would have thought? Oh, hey, I think this is our needed out blacksmith thing, because look. Yeah, it is. Who would have thought that? Save my life. <laughs> Come on, I'll explain everything, but we need to go inside. How's your face look? Your face. Okay, okay. Who would have thought that Skyrim would ever make Save sense? <laughs> and you can tell me all about it. Yeah, I like this. Oh shit! We we've, we've we've chosen well so far. Okay, after we go do this, I want to show you another mod. That it that you see the little house marker up. Yeah. That's that's the modded house we chose. Oh, oh right. And we can do that quest like right away. Nice. We can get our house going right away. That way we can start storing our shit and start our hoarding. Yes. <laughs> start our hoarding early. <laughs> you have the mead ready. <laughs> we can start a party. It's a child. She was in. She, she was. She was in the original. That's not a mod. Yeah, I'm just saying. That's not a mod. Yes, oh, I'm totally cool. friendly. Damn, we. Uh, yeah, I'm to I'm totally friendly. Just wait until we get the Dark Brotherhood look. I'm completely trustworthy. Yeah. Is he? Does he have a Batman voice? He looks like he'd have a Batman voice. He has an he? Irish voice. Oh. He's does, from Ireland. So. Does he have an Irish Batman voice though? Nah, it's kind of silky smooth and deep. That's good. Hi. The suave, the suave look. But he's also a ship captain, so it's just like... Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped my damn controller. I'm not cutting that out. That's quality content right there. <laughs> All right, so you're going to sit in the chair? No. That's, uh, normally she sits in the chair. No, she tells us to sit down. Nah. I like I to stand. All right. I like to sit. I doubt I made it out Why can't we grab that knife? Can we? No. No. Damn it. You could in oblivion. Not in this one. What? It's fine. You don't need the knife, Jimmy. You can't even fight with it. Of course. Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. Oh. <gasps> okay, move it downstairs where no one will see it. Damn it. Damn oh. it. He oh. wait, we're still holding it. <laughs> okay. So. We need your help. So, take it all. 
I take the cheese. The I'm ring made. of minor conjuration. I don't know why he gives you so much useful shit. This is like the most expensive stuff he has in the house. I think when he offered it to you, he expects you out of courtesy to not take everything. But we do. Oh man, I knocked over a wine bottle. Oh, there goes a potato, I think. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the, fun. The cheese, the cheese. We don't need the cheese. All right, let's let's start the house one. All right. This chicken. Remember the one mod, John? Are we doing it, Jimmy? <laughs> Do we want to? I quick save. All right, what time is it? All right, I think to close off this video, we'll show you one last mod that we installed. Completely lore friendly, exploding chickens. And thus, it is over. <laughs> we'll see you next time, guys. <laughs>